Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get this smooth bass effect inside of your videos. Today, I'm going to be actually using a music video from Joe Kenji. And the plugin that we're going to be using is Shake Sauce 2, which, by the way, if you go ahead and go to the link down below, you'll get a free seven day trial. So you can try out the plugin, see if you like it. And then at the end of the seven days, you can cop it or not. No harm, no foul. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial. All right. So I am using a clip from Joe Kenji's music video. What music video is it? um arsonist this video is actually pretty fire so let's go ahead and get started so let's see okay so i want to add like a shake at this transition and the way that i'm actually going to go ahead and do it i'm just going to pre-comp these right here leave my marker at the transition point i'm just going to pre-comp this like this and then i'm going to go over here to the keyframe inside of shake sauce 2 and then i'm gonna go ahead and just try to find like a dope little shake maybe do like a little stomp or let's try pump just go ahead hit the check mark use your u tool and it'll already be centered up for you and let's go ahead and just play it through see what it looks like okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just play with the keyframes a little bit maybe this scales a little bit too let me change the scale a little bit because i don't like all right maybe just bring this down to like maybe like that just a little bit of scale um flicker amplitude i like the scale yeah okay There we go. That's fire. And then let's go ahead and just keep doing the same exact thing for this entire like sequence. And that's really how you go ahead and just get any sort of shakes that you like. You can play around with the keyframes. You can go up to the effect controls and play with that as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and just keep playing with it. I think right here would be a cool spot for like a shake. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to select all of these because it's kind of fast pre comp this just like so. And then let's do like a um, let's do a horizontal shake. Hit apply and then it'll apply. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. That's sick. <laughs> That's actually far. Like adds like a little bit of energy right here. I love that. And like the way that cuts. Yeah, that's sick. I love that. That's sick. I'm going to add a shake right here at this transition. Pre-comp. And like, as you guys can see, adding these sort of shakes is just mad simple. Like, you really don't have to think much about it. I'm going to go ahead and do like a quick pump. And uh, actually, let's do nodding. I'm curious what this one looks like. This one seems like it's pretty interesting. So make sure the keyframes lined up. They are. Oh, yeah, that's fire. That's almost like a whip pan transition almost. That's pretty sick. That's sick. And then maybe a pump right here as well. So let's go ahead, right click pre comp, go ahead, simple little, let's do a little stomp. Why not? Let's try it out. Oh, wait, I screwed this up. Did the wrong thing. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this, but also select this one. Cause that is a bad cut. So pre comp, we're gonna go over here to let's try my own personal preset. I forgot what this preset is. Oh, it's just like a little like uh, glow. And then it just like kind of like fades away. I actually like that a lot. It's clean. Yo. <laughs> That's so clean. And that's the thing that's cool about shake sauce too, is like you don't have to do shakes. You know what I mean? You could add like glows, you can add, you know, flickers, etc., bro. Like it's pretty sick. Like you can use it in like a creative way. I'm gonna add just another one last shake and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the tutorial. So just let's try like a, uh, try zoom twist. Let's just do something crazy for this one and see if this works. <laughs> yeah. So now that we have finished the uh, sort of run through of adding shakes, let's go ahead and just watch it back. Yeah, I like it. It's a sick. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, if you guys want to go ahead and cop Shake Sauce 2, it is hands down the best plugin for adding shakes to your videos. You get to create your own preset library, like whatever you want to do, shake wise or flickers, etc. You can do it inside of this plugin. But again, I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.